Salutations and greetings everyone, my name is Imagine Universe, and I am now going to be doing a tutorial on Blender. It's a program I love to use, and I've used in making my Rubin videos, I've used to be making 3D models, and I even used it in making some thumbnails and stuff. But um, this is a very powerful and free um, uh, 3D imaging software and I'll have a link to below on how to um, use it but um, yeah when you first start you come out with this um, this cube right here which you can drag it around using right click that actually reminds me I should activate the screencast which is a um, it's an add-on you can get. I'll show you a link down to the video of the dude I originally um, found it from. And I will be um, having my own link down in the description. All it is is basically a text file and then you convert it into a Python file. Like right here. Here it is. And I'll just edit it with notepad to show you. That's all it is. It is just a big old wall of text and I'll have it down in the description and also the video of the other guy who has it down in the description but um, if you click right click uh, wait there we go see it shows a little display down there how the mouse work I'm using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out um, I use the left click to place the cursor around um, space bars for extra commands like if I um, spell in snap I get the snap command snap cursor to center so it'll be back in the center of the images and right click would to, to drag an item and then we got the camera right here which if you press zero on your number pad or zero up oh nope it's the zero on the number pad if I, I never mind the other zero did something else <laughs> whoops anyways um then you click zero to get out of that and then here's a light element which you can edit and right here lamp and over here in the settings there's a couple of different settings over here or you can fiddle around with the different elements add different modifiers edit the um other presets and stuff which I would get into future videos but right now I'm just going to show you the basics and to demonstrate a lot of the basic things in Blender I thought about we're going to be making this and this is a star tetrahedron and that is just eight tetrahedrons all put together and there's actually a pretty easy method on how to make this little shape right here and it uses quite a bit of the basic fundamentals of blender so let's get into it and the first thing you should do is set from blender render to cycles render that means everything will be rendered in cycles and um, let's take out this old material and this is where you can add materials to your mesh right here and I can make it in different colors like I can make it the color blue and it doesn't show up but if you go down here and it will show you a shortcut like if you click Z it will send you into x-ray mode but if you click Z, shift Z you get into render mode and I think control Z it is just another render mode I guess never mind but um, if you click here you can show the material and I don't know why it ain't rendering there it goes so now we got ourselves a blue cube and right now we're um, going to go tab you get into edit mode then we click W to get the special option so you got things like subdivide smooth would turn your item into a ball Control Z is obviously undo um, but right now we're going to click subdivide so that we can get this little cu um, cube of cubes shape we got eight cubes here and we're going to turn each of these cubes into a tetrahedron and to do that we're going to click X which is delete or you can click delete to delete and there's a couple different delete options you have vertices edges faces only edges and faces we're going to select only faces so that we get this um, skeleton of a cube 
and what we'll do next is we will take the corners and we'll make a triangle out of this um, cube like just look at one in the corners and you see it sort of makes the shape of a hexagon especially if you went into this mode it is really clear that it looks like a bunch of hexagons tessellated but um, what you do is you take these points and then you would fill them to make one of those triangles and then um, oh, I, is this the wrong spot? yes this is the wrong spot Okay you go from this point so you make a triangle pointing upwards so that when we click these points right here you um, get a point that's coming outwards and then um, you can click um, control to s find a path to another point or you can click shift to just directly select another point I don't know why it doesn't show up on the um, display thing but those are a couple other tricks you can do so just select down there and you make another triangle and then we will finish the triangle like that um, we go down here to select faces now and if you click the letter L it will select all the available actual um, connected vertices or faces whatever mesh you have that is actually rendered together and what you would do now is you go down here to where you got the little spheres and it says pivot point and you change your pivot point to be the center the cursor right here and you can tell that where the pivot point is by this little white circle that appears and from that we can do shift D where we can duplicate it and we can move it around but we're going to right click to let it go and then we're going to click the letter R to rotate it about any one of the axes axes and we rotate it by 90 so that it would fit right down there and then we would click L to select the other mesh and we'll duplicate it again and we just do this to another axis and again to the final axis and this time we do 180 so it'll fit perfectly over there and that's how you make your tetrahedron pretty simple and straightforward and um, if you wanted to do something like make all these tetrahedrons mesh together you would click space and you do um, delete or remove doubles so it removed 15 vertices now all of these meshes actually work together as a complete mesh and they seem to also have to gotten stuck to the skeleton and they're not connected to this one down here that was <laughs> but anyways that's how you would um make that and i hope you guys enjoy this blender tutorial and i'd love to see you guys in the next one catch you later